What's up guys, in this video we're going to be installing these RGB IC interior LED lights from Govi. Huge thanks, huge thanks to them for sending these out for me to do an installation and review on. I've already tested them and they look really cool and it is also a super easy installation that you can do on any car. So with the RGB IC, as you've probably heard of RGB lights, and that's just kind of where it uses the red, green, and blue uh, across the whole entire strip to make any color. But the C, I don't completely know what the I stands for, but basically what makes these different is that the strip can light up as different colors along the strip. So it can kind of do like a tracking motion across the LED strip, and then it can sync to the music and kind of like a fade pattern across the whole thing. And it is really cool. And all this does is it plugs into a cigarette lighter. So I have the perfect one here in the back. I'm just gonna plug it into that and then I'll just get a little adapter so I can have that and my dash cam both plugged into it. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box. I have had two other Govi products before and I've been really happy with both of them. They're really cool. Uh, these just control with a remote, but they also have other products that will uh, I use their app and their app is also really cool. So I definitely recommend looking into their products, but you can see it comes with everything you need. And there's the controller there. So you can see this plugs into your cigarette lighter and then there's the on and off button. And then you can also just leave that on and then you use this remote and you can turn them on and off from this remote that's in this bag here and you can see it has a keychain so you can put it on your keys and just oh it ha always have it with you i'll probably just leave it in my center console but uh this will like turn them on and off and then these switch to switch it to different modes and then if you don't want to use that remote it also has this controller here which just has some 3m tape on the back you can stick it inside your car that's on and off. This button is on and off on the top. This one switches the color and this one switches the mode. And then it also comes with some screws. If you prefer not to use the 3M tape or you wanna use both, you can use these little brackets on the end to screw it into whatever you need. And then it also comes with a little business card here and then the user manual. But uh, you shouldn't need that because I'm gonna show you how to do it today. And it also comes with zip ties. So you can also zip tie them. So I don't think they'll be going anywhere once you get them mounted. So I'll go ahead and plug them in so you can see what they look like and just give them a quick test and then we'll get started on the installation. So here they are plugged in. You can see when they're on that red button lights up and you can press it and they turn off. But then if you leave it on, uh, you can see it kind of it shows you it flashes so they're on. You can use this controller here and that turns it off, back on, that goes through all the colors. And then this gives you the modes, which you can see here, it's changing with my voice because these are the sound modes. So there's all kinds of that. We'll just leave it on a color. And then let's grab the remote real quick. I'm probably just gonna leave them on and use the remote. So I'll just have the remote in the front of the car and then I'll have all this other stuff mounted and hidden away. But if you use the A button, that turns them on and off. The B button changes the brightness. And one thing about these is these are brighter than any of the other LED strips I've had. Their underglow is super bright and I actually had some other interior underglow in here that I've taken out and it was not very bright. And these are definitely like way brighter than those. So I like that a lot. And it also, my car comes with like factory lighting underneath there and you can barely even see it. So this is definitely an upgrade. And then if you press the C button, that changes the color. And then the D button changes between all the different modes. So you can see that that's kind of cool, the tracking mode. But we'll turn them off for now. And basically what you want to do is start at where you plug it in. So you can see I have it plugged in here. And now you just want to plan where you want all your wires to go because you don't want wires just dangling all over your car and getting caught in people's feet and being ugly so we're going to kind of hide them and one thing i noticed about these strips is they're actually uh pretty long too like they go across the whole uh like bottom of the seat the other ones i've tried before have been pretty short but i'm going to go ahead and get them all set like i'll set them on the ground where they're going to go 
and then I will kind of run the wires and kind of show you how to tuck the wires and hide them away so they won't be in the way. And then I'll probably mount this in between the seat on my console so I can still reach it if I need to, but uh, it shouldn't be, uh, like it won't, it won't be like too visible. Like I could even just put it like right here along the side just so you can get to it if it is needed to but I'll probably just kind of leave it tucked back in there so you don't see it. Cause I'll be using the, uh, I'll just use that if I need them to be permanently off. And then I'll just use the remote up front. And then also this is where the, it senses the music. So you want this in a, in a way where it can sense the music through that little microphone there. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it all laid out and then I'll show you how uh, to move on from there. So I got them all installed and you can see they are actually super bright. And all I did was, you can see I stuck that LED strip to a little metal bar that went across there. And then you can see that wire, I just pulled this plastic right here and I tucked the wire all the way through. And that wire goes all the way behind here and goes uh, underneath the plastic. And you can see it comes out right there. And that's where it goes underneath this seat and you can see the light is just stuck to underneath the seat and then the extra wire comes back and you can see it's all under the center console here so uh it comes out here and that's where it plugs into that and then that wire goes there and then there's a this wire right here splits into two so one side went to this side and that's how those are mounted i just used my fingers to shove all the extra wire up in there and then that little control box is also underneath there just because I don't need it because I am using the uh, remote. So then if we come over here, it is uh, pretty much the same thing. It comes out under there. You can see the wires coming out from under the console and uh, there is the light strip. And then same thing in the front here. It's just stuck underneath the glove box and goes across, goes underneath that plastic and runs all the way back. And it's kind of just something you're gonna to have to learn for your specific car to get it uh, right and in the right spot and hide all the wires. But for my car, which is a Ford Focus, that's how I did it. And it was super easy to hide all the wires. So you kind of just gotta play with it, but uh, it's a really easy install to make the kit. It's all connected and super easy to put together in the car and then you just all you gotta do is plug it into a cigarette lighter so i'm going to go ahead and make it dark in here and i will show you all of the different modes that it has and something i actually just figured out about these lights is that they are actually bluetooth and you can use them with the govi home app and i would highly recommend this because i just went through it and it helps you set them up a lot better you can make all kinds of custom patterns custom colors custom uh, like sound modes all kinds of stuff like that and it also helps you like i said earlier putting the tape over the microphone you don't actually have to do that because in the app you can change the sensitivity of the lights to the music so i'm going to go ahead and include a screen recording of the app right now so you can see it because the app is definitely the best way to uh, go through these lights because you can see all the modes and they're all labeled and uh, it's all Bluetooth, so you can turn them on and off with Bluetooth too. So it's actually a really cool feature in addition to having the remote. So here is the Govi app. When you open it, you'll see this. You can see my old underglow there and then the interior lights, which I labeled those. You can label them whatever you want. And you can see you can turn them on from just here. And you can also click here and press this on button. And uh, they now turned on. Uh, they would turn on in my car so you can see they're connected and now they are turned on and then here you can see all of the uh, Different modes you can do it's absolutely endless as you can see I have my music set up here You can set it to sense the music from your phone or from the actual uh, mic on the device there's several different modes to for what the lights look like with the uh, Sound I have this one. This was the best setting for me. That's really cool to play with and it's uh, Got like really cool modes and then here you have the color where you can just select the color of uh, So you can see here This is like the whole light segment and you can select the color of it and then you can also deselect parts of it like this and then make them separate colors so you can pretty much have 
any custom color that you want uh any custom combination of color you want on your um just on the light strip itself and it just goes for all four of them you can have like a gradient or like a hard cut in between and you can also change uh, the brightness then you have the color wheel here and it has all these emotions on it and all the colors so you can pretty much your colors are absolutely endless and you can save certain colors there and then it has all these pre-made scenes here uh you can see there's diff a ton of different categories and basically these are all just different patterns and flashing patterns and separate things like this like right now if i click lightning it flashes like there's lightning in my car and then for example like uh, glaciers like blue lights flashing and uh, the ripple is kind of like a ripple effect of blue going through and there's just several of them here and then you go to the diy thing and this is where you can uh, completely make your own custom anything so i kind of just made some two right here this police chase one uh actually it just kind of like flat it's like red and blue and it's kind of like a chasing effect so it kind of like the red goes across the blue and then rainbow is just a gradient of the rainbow going clockwise across the uh led strip which is really cool and you can kind of just make whatever uh you want but uh, that's pretty much the app. You can adjust the brightness, all kinds of cool stuff from that. But uh, that's just one thing I found out that is super cool and it allows like a lot more customization for the interior lights. So as you can see right now, since that red light is on there, they're on, but they're like off with the car. So all I got to do is press the A button and it, it, it like works. You don't even have to point this remote at the controller or anything it just works which the last one i had you had to point it right at the controller so this is a lot better so you just take this press a that turns them on and then uh we have b here which does the brightness so that's the lowest brightness and we can move them all up to the brightest brightness which these are super bright and then here there's the c button and we press that and it takes us through all of the colors so once you're there, you can press the D button and that goes to the sound syncing modes. So you can see they just kind of flash lightly with ambient noise and then. So if I hit the car, you can see it, what it would do if you had actual music playing, but it just senses that sound and it kind of lights up with the sound. And then here's the next one. This one just has a bunch of different colors going at once which is a little bit crazy you can see it just kind of changes with that and a little bit of my voice then we'll press it again looks like this just kind of fades with the car and uh, also something you can do to make them you can see how mine are like hypersensitive to noise and they're kind of just going anyways. If you take a piece of tape and put it over the microphone hole on the controller, it'll make it a little bit less sensitive and it kind of will help with like the jumpiness of the lights. So then next mode, you can see it just flashes color and uh, it goes dark whenever there's no noise. And then this one, it kind of, this is what we started with. It goes on the edge and as the more sound it has, it kind of comes up like that. I like that one a lot. I think that's super cool. So uh, go ahead and just put it on a color there. You can see it has tons of color modes to choose from. And it looks like you, even if you hold that button down, it just switches between all of them, but uh, we'll pick a cool color. That's like a nice whitish blue, green, purple. But uh, that is how to install the Govi interior lights. These are by far my favorite like LED lights I've had with my car. I had the underglow underneath it, but I ended up uh, ripping that off when I ran over something on the highway because it pulled part of my bumper off that they were attached to. So uh, I don't have those anymore which is kind of sad because they were just as fun as these, but these are super cool to have since they sense to the music and they're also super bright. 
and uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, where you can get these from Govi. It is a super cool company and it has all these features that I showed you so far. But uh, that's pretty much it. Please leave a like and subscribe and uh, follow me on Instagram at NateJourneyApp, just the same as my channel name. And I will see you in the next video.